your teams post team of the season. I want to see what your guys' teams look like after team of the season is done. Now, a few of you sent me your benches and reserves. I haven't actually saved any of those photos, but I have saved your names and maybe a little bit of information on one of them. Um, but yeah, before we get started in this, would you like a bit of a Ziggy update? I think you might want a bit of a Ziggy update. It's been a week or two, and he's definitely grown. There we go. So, he's rather large nowadays. He's getting a bit of a jungus. Look at this. He's a bit shy, Zig. Do you want to say hi? Yeah, that's it. Say hi to everyone. Absolutely loves cuddles and he sleeps with me and Becky. Okay, let's put you down now. To make sure that he was okay. Hopefully he wasn't piss or shit anyway. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into rating your team of the season or post team of the season teams. Okay, so this is your post team of the season teams. We're starting off with Adam Pitt. Again, a lot of them are going to be um, portrait. Yeah, portrait. Uh, but one of them is landscape. So we're just going to have to make do with how it looks right now. So we have red pick to stake in goal, linking up with Okunde. Um, anyone else from that league? No. So that's why to Stegen's on to chemistry. Uh, but obviously gets the extra help with um, San Mateus. That is an outrageous midfield, by the way. So we have Marquinhos, Saliba and Koundé. The three centre-backs, that's a phenomenal three centre-backs. Playing the five, or is it a five, four, one, five, four, one? Or the three, two, four, I don't know. Either way, you've got Klaus at right wing back, he's very nice. And Thiago, not Thiago Mendes, it is Thiago Mendes, no. Uno Mendes. Whatever, at left wing back. Two very, very basic league and wing backs. He said the mid consists of Zidane and Mateus. Uh, and then Kingsley Coman and Diaby on either wing. Nice and pacey. Great technical ability and push cast up top. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful team. A bit of a sweat, if you don't mind me saying, because you've got five in the back. Absolute sweat. But I bet it plays phenomenally well. Phenomenally well. Phenomenally, phenomenally, phenomenally well. Next, we have Finn. Hello to you, Finn. You've not got the most meta team that I've seen, but my god, it looks intriguing. Would you not? I suppose that's how you play in game, isn't it? You probably set up for triple two. Okay, so you've got better check in goal. I'm a fan of that. Are you a Chelsea fan by any stretch of the imagination? Because you've got better check. Ashley Goal, Desai, Kante, and Havertz in there. Apologies if you hear Ziggy munching on his chew. So yeah, you've got a better check. That's Medina at centre back next to Ruben Diaz. Probably quite a pacey set of centre backs there. You have a Klaus at right back as well, and Ashley Cole has previously mentioned. So as a back four, I don't think you see this very often, but I quite like it. I do like it. CDM, you have this foot birthday Magalhaes, uh, not Magalhaes Desai. Absolutely phenomenal. What a great looking card that is. At centre mid, you have this Marco Ferrati. And on left centre mid, you have a foot birthday and Golo Kante. That is some coinage in this midfield. Absolute coinage. You have a player that I actually quite like in FIFA. This Cam Kai Havertz flashback. Very, very, very nice indeed. And then up top, Mbappe and Kane. Now, I heard, obviously, Mbappe is one of the best in the game. It's just Mbappe's player type. It's unique player style. It's It's fantastic. But I also heard incredible things about this Harry Kane. Now, to have both of them on top, I suppose, is very, very, very good. Um, so, yeah, I like it. Again, meta when it comes to maybe this side of things. Ferrati not so much, but I can see him being a great card now that you've got his team of the season. But all in 
know. The back line's not meta, and I like it, but I, I like it a lot. Next, we move on to Jack Valentine. Let's zoom in for this. For whatever reason, it's not saved it in there. The best of qualities. Now, this is a team of the season team, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from the promo out of 11. You have a Bryce Sammarin goal. Now, I hate to break it to you, lad, but if you've got this Bryce Sammarin goal, you're going to be conceding quite a lot of uh, opportunities because his reactions are terrible. It's a hidden stat for goalkeepers. What you really need is high reactions. So I'd be looking to maybe replace these two. I know you do it to get the chemistry. Um, again, this Medina at centre-back, he might be a hidden gem, you know. Let me have a quick look on the, the Google. And how much he is. Medina, team of the sea, like 40k. 95k. He can, he's a centre-back. Oh my god, with a shadow on him, that's outrageous. Yeah. If, if I were you, I'd keep this guy in there, but try and look to get a different centre-back. I know it might be a bit difficult. Uh, another goalkeeper, sorry. Um, what's this guy? Is it Molina? Something like that. Great looking right back. Marquinhos and Cap de Villa at left back. A very expensive card, mind you. But a great left back nonetheless. So defensive wise, you've got pure pace. And I love it. I love it. Solid. I'm loving the variety of teams as well that we keep seeing. Is that Sezok? What's his name? Let's try this again. Try this again. Version. Uh, team of the season. No, it's team of the season moments, isn't it? Zegan. Moses is Moses Zogo. Do you know what? For that prize, what have you got on him? You've got a shadow on him. Mate, as a CDM, that is a fantastic card. His passing is good in the right areas his pace is great, his defending physicals and dribbling great, I bet you have him at stay back, and this Busquets card looks fantastic on the right hand side you have Nkunku I'm a big, big believer of this card this card is outrageously good outrageously good and at the left hand cam we have Fekir, again a great card up top we have team of the season Ben Yedder, I want to say that's Voller, I should just keep footing up shouldn't I is it Voller? It's not Voller. No, because it's an icon, you idiot. Version. What icon is it? Team of the Year icon. It's Muller. Okay, it's Muller. Good Muller. 400k, 4 star, 4 star. What have you got on him? Hunter. go pace shooting wow i mean i wouldn't add a hunter on him i don't think it's necessary i'd personally go engine i think engine does more i gets that agility and balance up and dribbling his passing is brilliant and his shooting his pace is better or even a catalyst to be fair just a catalyst in general where is it there we are just to get them passing stats up a little bit better and the pace is a big boost i'd personally go with that um oh shit there we go. So all in all, another great team. And again, I'm just loving the variety that we're seeing. We're not seeing the same meta teams over and over. Here we go. We have JJP with Bebop. Um, ridiculous, by the way. Yashin in goal. Brilliant. Is that Baresi? I want to say it's Baresi or Nesta, one of them. It's definitely Baresi. Left centre back, great. Smalling, great. Teo Hernandez, great. Kimmich, incredible. Like, this back four is a formidable back four. Absolute bruisers of a back four. But then you've got, like, Goretzka and Balak in there. That is stupid good. Stupid good. <laughs> red pick, Rafael Leal. I mean, the fact that your red picks included three Serie A players of Smalling, Teo Hernandez and Rafael Leal is outrageous. And then we've got red pick, Goretzka. Ugh. You've got a nice team of the season moments, Quadrado, Pacey is anything, Di Maria, team of the season moments, striker. But then you've sunk your coins into this Kaka, and that is outrageously good, outrageous.
outrageously good. Full chemistry, pretty perfect. I couldn't I couldn't put a bad word against this. Outrageous. 4411, I'm assuming you don't line up like this, but if you do, please let me know your tactics. Um, but yeah, outrageous. You've got 66k left because you probably sank your coins into Gaga, but ridiculously good. We now move on to Luke Walsh. Here we go. Wow. Okay, okay. I can actually see some space for upgrade as well. So, to stake in gold, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That, uh, what's it called? Team of the Year World Breakers or whatever it was called. Team of the Season Record Breaker or Best of, I don't know. Um, Klaus at right back, we're seeing that to be a bit of a, um, a common theme. Is he that good? Because I've used him and I wasn't that impressed with him. We have Marquinhos at centre-back. Brilliant. Maybe you could look to get his uh, team of the season if you can afford it at a later time. I think he's currently biting my finger. Uh, PK at centre-back. Again, I don't know if that Busquets can play centre-back. I'm assuming he can't. I think it's at the minute CDM, but that'd have been a good upgrade for him. Uh, but that Jordi Albert left-back is brilliant. Um, Verratti at centre-mid. I've seen a, few, uh, seen a few people use him now, and uh, so he must be must be relatively good. Mavi Diddy, I did look at this card, and I think it's one of the most underrated cards from team of the season. I think his stats, stats-wise, is quite meta. You think of normal Messi on the right-hand side, which is a very bold call. Again, there are areas to upgrade this if you can afford it at some point. But then Muller, Mbappe, and Kaka. Uh, that is a filthy trio. An absolutely filthy trio. So fair play to you on that one. Fair play to you completely. Moving on, we have Rick Eyre, who's got all of four team of the seasons. Five if you include the red pick. Six if you include the red pick. You've got red pick Harland. Are you joking? Are you having me on here? Sitting in at 28. Chemistry's a bit rogue. Uh, Van der Sar in goal. Class. Another Cap de Villa left back, but a better version of him this time. Flashback in Bembe is brilliant. Team of the season, Marquinhos is brilliant. Red Pit Klaus, everyone seems to have got this Red Pit Klaus. Let me just grab a quick drink because I'm a little bit thirsty. So we have this Llorente Champions League Man of the Match Rodri and Modric. That is stupid. That is ridiculous. You've then gone for the, a stupid front three of Jonathan David, which is class. Upgraded. Showdown Foden. Call him Shodan. And then Red Haaland. Filth. Absolute filth. Playing in the 4 3 2 1 was meta, not so much now. 94 rate, that's stupid. That is like arguably the most meta team we've seen so far because you've got three absolute monster midfielders sat behind just to create. Well, you've got a creative genius here, you've got a base merchant, and then you've just got the out and out Haaland. And then an absolutely formidable defence there. I like it. I like it a lot. It's probably the best one we've seen so far, in my opinion. Uh, we then move on to Shrek to Trappy. Here we go. We have Alisson in goal, team of the season. Flashback Navas. Hector Molina, is that? Is it Hector Molina or is it just Molina? I don't know. Um, Saliba at left centre-back. And then, that's not even Jordi Alba, that's... Balde, isn't it? Is it Alex, Alex Al Alandra Balde, something like that? Top quality there, um, not the most meta. Navas is good, Saliba's good. I'm not sure about your left back, and I'm not sure about your centre back, but he's 93 rated, so it can't be too bad. In the midfield, we have Gavi. Top quality, is it Pedri? It's one of them. Either way, I know that this card is very, very good. I've heard a lot of good things. You've got 
that um, the player that Chelsea won Vega at centre mid and flashback Milner Jesus you're going on a Liverpool spree here because you've then got Harvey Elliott upgraded to showdown class flashback Bobby 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 Asensio. I think that's class. I think it's great. You've got Ozil on the bench. Kraska on the bench. De La Feu on the bench. Brilliant. Kaiser on the bench. I think that's fantastic. Um, not the most metal we've seen, but still good. Your name's outrageous. You need to get rid of that, lad. I'm not happy about that. And then we move on to the final one, which is Trovi, who the only bit of information I saved is the fact that this sedan is tradable. It's the only tradable card, as the rest are all untradables. So, we have Chesney in goal. Let's go that. Chesney in goal. Brilliant. De Lorenzo right back. Beautiful. Kimbembe centre back with Luciano. Is it Luciano? Luciano. At centre back. What a partnership that could be. Um, and Teo and Anders left back solid. Again, we see this Rafael Leao at left mid. Brilliant. You play Ronaldo Sanchez at right mid. I wonder if you swap to some form of 4 triple 2 with Zidane and Sancho here. Leao and Kravac Skelly are on the right and the left. And then Ronaldinho in the middle. I wonder if you swap to like a 4-2-3-1. That's what I do in game. I'm not sure if you did mention it. Um, but yeah, so Dan in this midfield role with next to him, Renato Sanchez, because you wouldn't have a shadow on a right winger. You're doing this just for chemistry. So you'd play it down on the left, Sanchez on the right, or vice versa. Ronaldinho in the midfield. So like a 4 3 3 4 variation with him. Come cool top. Ronaldinho just behind Kravac Skelly on the right, Leao on the left. That is a phenomenal team. And I'm struggling to decide between yourself and that. No. I don't know. They're all good. That's good. Looking back, that's that. That's probably my favourite. Looking back, Adam, you're the first one we looked at. Was probably the most meta. But I think this comes a lot. Actually, I think this one's better. I think if you play these in the way I suggested, that's the most meta team we've seen. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, again, sorry if you didn't quite make this one, but make sure you follow me on Twitter because that's where we have a look at things. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Goodbye.